This is from my novel in English called Dagni or a Love Feast, which came out in 2011. Kind of vaginal discourse. No, Stach, I can't stay dumb. I can't stay wordless because it wants to speak through me. Yes, my golden fleece speaks through me. The rainbow is coloring the cobwebs of my dreams, which restore to the words their full significance. And you better listen to this, my boy, said Dagny and spoke. I am the gate of life, the void pluralized, the nothing about which once there was much Edo, the creation's nahilo, the verb that draws the nouns like spermatozoids are driven towards an ovule, an opening for the exodus and exile. I am the mother of unreality, which awakens its babies from the sleep of reality with a kiss at noon, and the darkness comes in at that very noon by that very kiss, like silence uttered by the ineffable word. Yes, there are three truths thrust within me. Things are, things are not, and things neither are, nor are they not. They are otherwise. Each comes out of the other two, like a metaphor, which is all. We will sail together on the river, me and my children. We will sail in a land sunlit and far away, and we will dance in a festival dance around the fire. Those kids, you know, they always ask for a drink. They perennially seek to have their mouths cavities saturated by various juices. And as time passes, as they mature and seek pleasure of a different sort, they pour those juices back into me. Thus, in nature, nothing is being lost. And therefore, he who enters the kingdom of God must first enter his mother and die, because when God enters man's kingdom through his mother, he dies for man. This is beautiful. And the beauty is awesome, because sex is a big drama. It symbolically features the son and the mama. Yes, the new age is being conceived in me. The damsels of Avignon will come out of Africa. I see a copper-green poison fly clings to the sun's giant rose fading slowly over the horizon's arc. God playing with madness will produce the honey of poetry from the flowers of evil, and my children, intoxicated with that honey, will adore him. The drunken poets, hanging on their women, will shoot along with the fire squad that tortured hollow man. The art of death will come after the death of art. I am the very wound on the body of your interpreted world. The wound is the mouth, and it speaks the tongue you cannot interpret, like the secret flames behind high, dark walls in the whispering green of the gardens. There was a woman named Dagny, forlorn in a strange city like the jilted maiden Sophia, who stepped through the looking glass and fell into the resounding echoes of the material world. What was she looking for? Where did she want to go? She closed her eyes and let herself drift unresistingly. In dem wogenden Schwall, in dem turnenden Schall. And to her in that strange city, everything tasted of death, yes. She could tell the taste of strong, matured wine, which is the blood of the dismembered God fortified by the passion. She died with the taste of her tongue. She died with that taste on her tongue and palate. The wine was still fermenting in her brain 
when the burning hot lead bullet stuck in it and dark red liquid rolled from her nostrils and she drowned in the universal stream of the world beneath. In des Weltatems van dem all. She was the first among those who would come after her, those who would let me speak through them, speak about my wild soft desires and my fondest anxieties. Speak the sound of the snow falling faintly through the universe and the unconscious utmost rapture of the river flowing down to meet the sea. The sea, unbewusst, höchste Lust, oh yes, the luster of lust. Here it ended. Here it ended. Dagny stood in silence for a while and then, sitting back between Stach and Vincent, crossed her long legs and declared with a careless, though elegant, queenly gesture Vlad Emmerich, you bloody lunatic, go ahead, serve my last lunch. The end. איך החלך לארץ שם עשינו?